Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the second fan art video, and this time I'm drawing Nightwing. Uh, Nightwing is the eldest bro, if you will, of the Bat family. Uh, he's super athletic, and he's always whipping around the city doing flips and stuff. So it's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. I've never gotten a chance to take a crack at him doing these flips and whatnot. Um, he's always like flipping on scaffolding, and it's always cool because um, just has this uh, Spider-Man type of excitement to it. So uh, he's in, you know, a Gotham type uh, area of the city, and uh, I just really wanted to build out the background as much as the character. But before I get ahead of myself, let me remind all you guys I've got this cyberpunk racing adventure called Star Circuit that's just hit Indiegogo. It's in pre-campaign right now, which means you can go there right now and sign up for the uh, mailing list, which one will get you a free trading card when you finally back uh, when the project launches, um, but it also will get you all the notifications. Uh, the book, like I said, is this cyberpunk uh, crazy adventure where uh, a street racer has to go up against the top racers in the colonies, which are all androids. Um, I've got a trailer here to show you. It's actually just a little quick teaser, so check it out, and we'll get back to the artwork. All right, I hope you enjoyed uh, the previous Star Circuit. So let's get back to this artwork. Um, as you can see, I'm really um, honing in on Nightwing right now, I'm kind of ignoring the background because I really wanted to first make sure this pose and everything was uh, solid and, and felt like um, weighty enough and, and felt fun enough, really. So after that, I, I kind of spent a lot of time on the background. I spent so much time, and I know it's going to be so much time that I cut out a... Um, a mask for the character that I don't I don't want to smudge the lines that I've drawn already for um, Nightwing so a lot of this video is really a background video which it's not as exciting as the I'd say like a, just a straight pinup of a character but at the same time it's what makes his pose special like otherwise um, you know he could be doing a handstand and a flip on the grass in your backyard and it's nowhere near as cool as if he's doing that on some sort of um, you know scaffolding or some sort of gargoyle on a building or something you know so here I'm just making as much uh, connection to realism as I can um, I, all these buildings are coming out of my head there's no reference I've done enough backgrounds to kind of just play with shapes and and make something somewhat believable um, and you know I I did look at a reference for Nightwing because that handstand's kind of difficult with the underarm and everything but um, I didn't look at any basic reference for the actual photos of buildings what I did look at was a couple of artists like um, like uh, Otomo's Akira I looked at backgrounds for that because I always think I'm drawing too detailed and then I realize oh wait I probably could even push it further because as long as you stay clean and stay true, um, you can make something look really awesome even though uh, there's a lot of detail there. So here I'm filling in all the blacks, um, which is really what sells uh, Nightwing's costume. He's in like a black jumpsuit pretty much. Um, and after that I go in and do some rendering. Um, I try to slow it down on the camera a little bit because um, I wanted this video to be quicker than the first one, but not as quick. Um, when I do these smaller details, so hopefully this plays out eventually I'll get these uh, fan art videos down pat I'll know exactly how I want things to to run and work um, But you can see I've got a really uh, a lot of different elements in the background a lot of buildings a lot of um, Different types of uh, Lighting effects some are uplit some are 
lit by the moon and I'm just trying to balance it all with the composition really. Um, I put that smoke behind his head and it's my only kind of regret. I think uh, if I made that solid it might actually draw to your eye there better. Right now it's a little confusing but um, it's how it goes when you do art. Sometimes you just um, don't nail everything you just gotta accept it. So here you can see I'm putting a, a good contour around the underside of his body because that's where the light wouldn't be necessarily. Um, and it really pops the figure. I do that on some of the buildings as well. I add some cracks to the buildings. I add different types of um, just texture. And texture is what we're looking for here. Um, implied detail is what you want to do. So I think overall it came out pretty awesome. Um, it's... Uh, very close to the end of the video because um, like I said I want to keep it short this time but thanks for checking it out um, please jump in the comments tell me what you like uh, to see next time I already got a couple suggestions I got a solid steak snake suggestion um, from Middle Gear Solid uh, I know I want to do a Mandalorian for uh, Art Jedi that appears on the channel once in a while and so besides that throw out your suggestions and um, yeah check it out here's the final work you know, you can see a lot of the graphite. This is all traditional, obviously, so it's got this nice grittiness to it. Um, something I really like um, about doing things traditional. You get this super organic feel. So if you like this, please smash the like button. Please subscribe if you like seeing any kind of art videos. Um, it's really appreciated. Go check out Star Circuit. Um, please sign up for the mailing list. Uh, I send out emails every week. You can check out the story at StarCircuitComic.com. And yeah, come back again next time, next week, for the same thing.